Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for clicking on by. So today we have a question, a dilemma. Did you buy one of those action cameras, a GoPro Hero 9, 10, or what are they on? GoPro Hero 15? Or did you have one of these come by your way? An Insta360 ONE RS, this is the twin camera. You know, and then you just, you know, put it in this little case, then you can mount it on all these fun brackets or a tripod, but can you like just put it on your hat? It's kind of heavy. Whoop! <laughs> and then it comes off this thing quite easily. So make sure you screw those in. So the dilemma is how do I, I can't hold it. I need to mount it on my hat and those chest things look really awkward. And it's like this jacket you put on. Yeah. What if you could just snap it on? Let's find out. Oh, that's right, it's, it's easy open. Always close the knife. Snapmounts.com. Nice presentation. Experience freedom. Yes, I'll have questions later. Lanyard cord, very nice. And there's... Here's... Whoa. Those are earth magnets. Toss that aside. Whoa! All right, let's try that again, shall we? That was fun. So we'll put it on the desk. Wow, I don't have a GoPro with me, but I do have the Insta360. So you're gonna wanna put that right there, like so. Line up them holes. I love the green. They do have different colors. I don't remember how much I paid for this because it was a gift through a gift card. So if this was attached to metal, yeah. So this is the magnet. Slide this underneath my shirt. Put that like so. Whoa. I think you'd have to have a jacket. But I mean, this might work. If you had like a strap for like a purse or a satchel or something, that is not moving. Well, if I didn't look like a nerd already, <laughs> let's go outside, take the dog for a walk and give this baby a test drive. But so far I like the apparatus because it solves a problem. I need to be able to film watches when I walk. This thing is too heavy for a hat mount. Fall time is coming. And I also need something I could mount on my dashboard. So this one, I can now walk with my camera right on my chest and get a view of watches or the sunset or of the beach or lots of stuff. You could also mount this. You could probably ugh, mount this. Whoa, magnet again. You could probably mount this on a hat. Let's try. I guess it depends on the hat. Mm, yeah, that's, that is pretty stable, I must say. Mm. Well, if you were walking, maybe, but then that's why you have the leash, you know, the security blanket. Can mount this on my dashboard. So one dashboard, two clothing, three, a backpack, four, you could like put something through there. They, yeah, there's lots of options. And I like the strong magnets. And yes, it does come with a warranty. It's at least one year. I like the design. So this part's plastic, but this is alloy. So that's good. Sometimes you get these plastic screws. I can't remember who sent me this one, but actually, yeah, this is an Insta360. So it's plastic, but this part's metal and my brake's over. So I need to get back to work. So we'll go on a walk later today and I'll get you some more footage. See you soon. So strapping that snap mount to directly my church, my shirt, my shirt was not working. So I did this. Strap on the old European satchel. Just magnetizes right there. Quite comfortable. You get this great view while walking. Hey, Chucks. Can I hold him? You okay? I'll take over when your shoulder just looks like. Mile completed. Duration 24 minutes 9 seconds. 2,548 steps.
Heart rate 97 beats per minute. What'd you think? Was that better? Okay, so this would be the outdoor test. As you can see, see. As you can see, the snap mount is mounted to the car. Thank you for driving, Stefano. Yep. And it's still there videotaping. I did the safety leash to the windshield wiper. <laughs> Remember that time a bug clogged my microphone because we were going 90 miles an hour on the freeway and we decided to mount the camera to the roof that, of your that, that, That's clearly nothing I would never speak. Never to. Never go over the speed limit. Okay. Let's see, we're going 45 miles an hour. Yeah, 42. Still good. Wow, that is a strong magnet. Like, if you had a Jeep, and if you were on the, uh, what's it called? The Alpine Loop, or a really cool mountain trail, this would be a great thing to have. Okay, brake test, a success. That Doomkopf back there slammed on his brakes, and that mount did not move. Now, I did figure a negative thing. If you have a Saturn, this won't work. Because those are what polymer plastic panels, oh, right? I guess we could roll up the windows for better audio. It was thirty-nine dollars. That's really not bad. I mean, for a durable mount, it's quite versatile. I did try using the lanyard to that and like hanging it. That didn't work. I forgot that the lanyard was just for safety and not for wearing it. They actually do make some that are designed that way, where it's this kind of metal loop and then a magnet mount but i mean if you shorten the lanyard you could do it that way if you wanted to walk around at the beach with your shirt off and get a really funny tan line while having that thing right now anyway and there it is i really don't think it moved more than a millimeter there's a safety leash and it is it is on there now i i would have a concern over time if you place this thing Oh, well, that was a good leash. You know, in the same spot over time, don't you think that it might ruin the paint? It I, could. I think so. That like little micro little moves, Ugh. it could bleach the paint. But other than that, that was a success. That was a success. Let's see if we can get a nice thumb. So we'll try the lanyard mount. Basically all you would do is you would take off this magnet and then you just feed this little cable, this little thing right there, through there. I'm trying to do this on screen. Yep, and then just put that through the thing and bam, she's on. So now we'd have to, of course, tweak this. I like that it's alloy. Okay, and then I just wear this around my neck. Okay, that didn't quite work. <laughs> because now it's, <laughs> now it's a belly button cam. All right, maybe I did that wrong. I'm going to uh, experience freedom of press and I'm gonna scan this, but there are no instructions in the box. 